Assalamualaikum So this video will explain chapter 7 of physics form 5 the quantum physics and this is a newly added chapter in SSM syllabus You are with me teacher Yusrin Abdul Hamid So before we go further let's look at this map to get the basic idea on what quantum physics is I will try to make it as simple as I can and this is also the final chapter of physics in SPM level. We have gone through a lot in two years of studying physics in school. We have learned on laws of motion, the Newton's law of universal gravitation, everything on forces of attraction, the classical mechanics, fluids mechanic, everything on pressure, the Bernoulli's principle and then we also have learned some of the concept in like optics and waves and the electricity, electromagnetism and then some of thermodynamics about the heat, the specific heat capacity and everything. So all of this, all of this that we have learned in school, these are classified as classical physics. So in classical physics, it makes us think that we know so much things on physics. But wait, this is only a small portion of physics knowledge. As you can see in the map, we only has covered only one side of physics. So there are so much more. And on the other side, we have this new thing, the quantum physics. So... So, what are the differences between the classical physics and the quantum physics? This table, we can get some ideas on comparison between classical and quantum physics. So, in classical physics, it describes the motion of a macroscopic object. Macro means very big object. So, things that we can see, we can measure. But in quantum physics, it will describe the nature of object at atomic level. Very, very small things. And in classical physics, future events are predictable. Things are certain. But in quantum physics, events are unpredictable and we will involve a lot with probabilities. And in classical physics, it does not describe the wave particles duality, which is we know that light is a wave. But in quantum physics, light it can be a wave and also a particle. It will be described in the wave particle duality. So basically, quantum physics is a study of processes which occur at atomic scale we are going to learn about things that is very very small and the word quantum is from latin word which means bundle and we will discuss this further in this chapter and the ideas that spark the quantum theory arose from theories to explain observation which could not be reconciled with classical physics and one of it is the theory the quantum theory of light so this will be the first part of the chapter and to explain the initiation of quantum theory of light we will discuss on electromagnetic spectrum and electromagnetic radiation and the black body but that will be on my next video so i will see you there bye